Each year, approximately two million people die in the United States. Of those two million deaths, half are caused by heart disease. That's a startling number, and the Cardiovascular Institute at the Detroit Medical Center is doing everything they can to change this statistic. One of their new and groundbreaking procedures is called cryoablation, and it's used to treat patients who suffer from atrial fibrillation. This happens when the upper chambers of the heart start beating faster than the lower ones. The upper chambers beat at 300 to 400 times a minute, and the lower chambers try to catch up, reaching 170 to 180 beats a minute. Don Muirhead endured this dangerous condition for 12 years before being treated for it at the DMC. I couldn't go anywhere, couldn't do anything. I would get winded really easy. And I, you know, like just climbing up the stairs, you know, I'd get winded and then all of a sudden you'll be sitting there and your heart starts fluttering. You know, you're going into atrial fib, kept coming back. And it would last, like sometimes it only lasts like five minutes and sometimes it would last eight hours. And then after it's all over, you're, you're totally wiped out. You know, you feel like you've just ran a marathon and all you've done is sit down. When the heart beats abnormally, blood doesn't flow properly which can lead to some serious consequences. Number one, it puts them at an increased risk for strokes. Number two, when your heart is palpating in these irregular extra skip beats, it can give you symptoms of shortness of breath, tiredness. And the third thing it does is it can make the lower chambers beat so fast that the muscle gets weak. Dr. Randy Lieberman is Director of Cardiac Electrophysiology at DMC Harper University Hospital. Dr. Lieberman and his team at the Cardiovascular Institute are the only ones in Michigan using the cryoablation technology. This procedure has a higher success rate and lower risk for complications than the old procedure, which involved cauterizing or burning the parts of the heart that cause atrial fibrillation. The esophagus, which is the tube that takes the food from the mouth to the stomach, lies right behind your heart. So if you can imagine you have your heart sitting here and the esophagus goes down behind it. The part where we have to burn on the heart lies right up against that esophagus. Now the heat from the radio frequency ablation could create ulcers into the esophagus and those were lethal. You would die from that complication. It's very rare but it was a limiting part of the procedure. Furthermore, many times the esophagus lies right over the area that we have to ablate. And we could not complete the ablations, so it was an incomplete procedure. With the cryo balloons, there appears to be no risk right now to cryoing because of the freezing technique. It does not damage the esophagus. During the minimally invasive cryoablation procedure, the balloon is inserted using a catheter. Once the balloon is inside the vein connecting to the back of the heart, liquid nitrogen is pumped into the balloon. The balloon inflates and freezes the walls just outside the blood vessel. How many seconds do you hold that? We're gonna take this one for five minutes. <laughs> when you get a good occlusion like seconds. this, you take it five minutes. Got it. And then you thaw it. Thaw it, then we'll get a second do it again. one. Yeah. The same amount of time, same temperature? No, uh, this one will just do four minutes. The, you know, it's sort of like um, cooking a little here. Patients who undergo this procedure stay in the hospital overnight, and within two or three days, they're back to their normal activities. For Don Muirhead, having the procedure meant returning to an active, fulfilling life. Once they do the procedure in a little while, you can get off all those medications. Mm -hmm. And that was my big thing. I hate taking pills. I feel good. Cryoablation is a small procedure that can mean the difference between life and death for many Americans, especially given the high number of people who die from cardiovascular disease each year. In order to keep our hearts healthy, we all need to eat right, exercise, and see our doctor if we suspect something is wrong. To learn more about atrial fibrillation, the cryoablation procedure, or to schedule an appointment with Dr. Randy Lieberman here at Harper University Hospital, Log on to dmc.org or call 888-DMC-2500. I'm Emory King.